Welcome back, back to the Fit Responder blog. Firefighters, medics, police officers, anybody in public safety, even if you're not in public safety, please pay attention to this post. I'm going to try to make this short. This is a topic I'm quite passionate on and I feel strongly about because the research supports it. I'm really getting tired of seeing everybody get hurt and seeing the various professions doing nothing more than preparing for and maintaining fitness level only to pass a test once a year. And I understand there are standards in place for testing that um, the various services use. Those tests absolutely need to be there. There are time standards and strength standards and standards that you need to be able to lift to work in public safety. What I am concerned about is the lack of biomechanical fitness. Nobody tests for it. And has anyone ever really stepped back and thought hard about why the incidence of back injury, knee injuries, shoulder problems, stress related disorders, which really don't apply to biomechanics, but I still feel strongly about those. But anybody really wonder why we keep having incidents, such a high incidence of injury and re injury, yet we keep trying to reinvent the wheel? Better cots, better gear, better seats, you know, better equipment to make make our jobs easier so there's less strain on our bodies yet we continue to get hurt and we go through the cycle of you know referral to the doctor medication physical therapy if needed back to work and your chance of re-injury gets pretty high and obviously I'm not talking about the trauma kind of stuff obviously if you're working fire and you fall through a floor that cannot be prevented or if you're with a combative patient and you know you end up getting you know physically hurt that cannot be prevented. What I'm talking about is more of the repetitive strain biomechanical type of disorders, the low back strain, the knee injuries from stepping in and out of the truck. The problem is simply we're not testing for the right stuff. We all have these very very complicated postural patterns that we continue to make worse. And folks, this is not rocket science. It's actually very simple stuff. It's why I wrote the Fit Responder program. It's why the book exists. It's why the blog exists to continue to educate you guys on how simple it really is to test for and then correct these postural distortions. Um, a couple days after this video uploads, I'm going to put up a chart on what those postural distortions actually look like. Now keep something in mind, a lot of the exercises that you're doing, and again I'm assuming you are exercising, are actually making these postural distortions worse. You unknowingly are destroying your body. Um, don't feel bad, I did it two years ago until the research came out and, and you start to realize that most of the exercises that we do in the gym are really not good for the body. They actually make these imbalances worse. So something to think about. What we may be doing what we are doing, we're definitely doing wrong. So we need to be a little bit smarter in how we test, we need to be a little bit smarter in how we actually go through the exercises that we go through. Uh, I'm going to try to, uh, like I said, upload some more information to the blog on some of these postural distortions. You guys have seen, if you've been following the blog and following my writing, how strongly I feel about doing the proper exercises and the proper stretches. It's all based on these postural distortions. So I will just in the next couple weeks look for some new tests to be up that you guys can try. Um, they're integral to the part, you know, to the uh, in integral part to the program. Uh, but just change how you think a little bit. Um, you know, what we're doing is not working, and the, the statistics on injury rates and re-injury prove it. And it really is easy to prevent it, it's easy to fix it, it's inexpensive to do, and it really doesn't take a lot of time. So I challenge everybody to think before you do, please do not be afraid to educate yourself and understand that what you know or what we are currently doing may be wrong, and in my opinion it is wrong. Uh, like I said, we have to do these tests for you know normative standards of 
fitness and agility and, and cardiorespiratory fitness and strength. They need to be done, absolutely. But what happens afterwards? That's where we end up getting hurt. So, food for thought. I know this post was a little disorganized. I apologize for that. Um, I will, uh, in my writings, get a little more specific because it is a very, very broad topic. Uh, and in the meantime, be safe, be smart, choose better exercises, be aware of the gimmicks that are out there as far as the fitness programs that are marketed to public safety. Most of them do nothing more than perpetuate these imbalances that I'm talking about. Um, good luck, be safe.